stars. <laughs> no. <laughs> Coraco. Cora means Arabian gazelle, which we all know was the daughter of Zeus. And call means gather grass and sew it together. A coracle is a single person long boat made of reeds and twigs from ancient Britain. There are so many wonderful things you can learn from the ancient Britons, Amy. Like metallurgy and how to cauterize the wound when it... Come on, we're in a rush. Deliver these. Come on, mister. Deliver these things or you're set. We're all about working to preserve the diversity of natural life. We use everything. Question, who's this we? My coven. Like witches? No, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. But not witches like you think. We're just a group of people who believe in communal sharing and chanting a lot and can't find husbands. Reading magazines, cloaks, wands, horned gods, rubbing your skin raw with rocks, dying of old age at 27, crying in terror when it starts to thunder, and these are all the things our ancestors did. Since I found my new mind and body, things have really changed for me. Our modern society only celebrates a select few. Every woman and every man is a star in the sky, Amy. Not just the ones that sing on TV or those people in the movies. I think I know what you need to separate your reflection from your true self. A Zen garden. Oh, my brother had one of those and the federales came. Oh, no, 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 no. Zen, silly girl. <laughs> it's a little sandbox you draw. Come on, we're in a it's rush. A Deliver these. Death isn't an end. It's just a stage and also a beginning of the new journey. Do you have a leader in this weirdo cult of yours? Not a cult, a coven. There's a big difference. Yes, our leader's name is Phil. That's a weird name for a leader of a group of witches. Oh, hi, Phil. What hairy legs you got, but with being a man who's a witch and everything. <laughs> Do not disrespect Phil. He teaches us the wheel of the year, Amy. It's full of solar holidays and goes round and round and round. You can learn a lot from the sun and the moon. For too long, you can go blind, meaning it is something to be respected. And the moon has a dark side, just like we do. And some people have craters and only a sixth of gravity. The ancient Britons knew the moon could breathe. We can change the world, rearrange the world. It's dying, though, Amy, and it needs a mouth to mouth resuscitation, like a swan or a fish on a hook. If you take your nervous system seriously, if you take your organs... No wasting time this time, pal. Things can happen. Phil taught us that. He's been to Mali to meet with the village elders. That's why there's the ceremony of the knife. Oh, great. Why does everyone have to be packing sharp things? The knife ceremony is very important and spiritual. It's an ancient one-person personal crisis. You say to yourself, I'm going to have a spiritual experience or thrust this thing into my head. Life actors never rehearse and need no script, Amy. That was said by somebody really spaced out. And I'm going to say it again, like the wind which keeps blowing, or the sun which shines with life. Will you please leave? You smell and you talk really weird and you're just really gross. Not until I tell people out there, become an internationalist, learn oral traditions, learn to respect life, make war on machines, marry your mother, technology will enslave us, buy my book! It's printed on bark. Okay, okay, let's take a quick call. Hello, you're on K-Chat. What's your name? Hey, it's Manuel from Foreign Island. I love the show. Yeah, I want to talk about technology and slaving us. You know that play, In the Future There Will Be Robots? Well, that's a true story. In the future, there will be robots. And I'm going to hack them all. I'll make them say funny things. You know, I can move satellites around by computer. Computers are evil. The Luddites of ancient Britain know this. That's why they destroyed the computers that created things faster and more efficient and took their jobs. Oh, shut up. Computers aren't evil. It's the people that program the computers that are evil. That's a pretty big difference. I'm talking hey, to come on, mister. Deliver these quick. Well, anything that can think faster than me is evil. Anything which doesn't dance or sing or cry or wear a smile. You create your own reality. We are like the dust in the wind. We are golden. We've got to get ourselves back to the garden. Okay, okay. <gasps> I know who you remind me of. My Aunt Susan. Oh. She's a single, too. I'm not single, Amy. I share my life with a number of valuable partners, and we commune with each other in a non-judgmental, expressive way. Old maid, my mom calls her. Anyway, let's go to the boat. You're on K-Chat. Uh, yeah. oh. Wearing 
Queen, Medusa, Ma 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 Medusa. Uh, 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 uh. Deliver these things or you're set. I hope you find what you're looking for, and I sincerely hope you woo, take a bath. We'll be back after this. You're on K-Chat. Don't go away. Hi, I'm BJ Smith. In my long and illustrious three-year career at the top of pro football, I worked some serious ass and got paid for it. They didn't call me death in tight pants for nothing. We had such a rewarding career, many others as I had. You know how to stay fit. Through running, wrestling, stepping twenties down panties of boxy strippers, following training, nays of the suit, and being the hell out of your fellow man. That's what keeps me healthy. And now, using training methods I perfected, it's going to work for you. With BJ's Fit for Football, watch those pounds fall off. I'm down to 300 pounds using exactly the method I demonstrated on tape. I mean, who are you going to trust to get to fit? A man who can rip your arm off and beat you for red end? Or some aerobics instructor who wouldn't get grabbed by the local hopscotch team? Hell no. BJ's Fit for Football, out now on Beta and VHS. Remember, to win the game of football or life, you have to annihilate everything in your path in a blind race. Ever since we just started working, our kids are on the loan. We tried hiring a nanny, but she wanted health insurance. That's what we got to mess the body. He's great with the kids. How do you think he Come on, you lazy bastard. Deliver this crap on time. It's like having a personalized alarm clock. I'd say good morning. Amy Schreckenhausen on Vice City Station for the stars, including me. And boys, have I got a treat for you. Next up is a living legend, a man who won the World Series single-handed, known to his fans as Death in Tight Pants, and known to his enemies as, oh my gosh. You again? Well, deliver these quick, pal. Legend, BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Oh, I know. But one thing, sweetheart, I never won the World Series. That's baseball. I played football. Yes, but it's all the same, isn't it? Football and baseball aren't the same. And one of them, you get bored during a five-hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The others work. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, dividing your salary by 162, waiting for some action. Talk to a guy who just played an hour of football. He's been in the trenches getting Agent Orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking an innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for pansies who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pants time. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me, I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just wanted you to know what I did. I do? Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Baby, I played professional sports for 14 years. These need delivering, pal. And I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you. But I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. With that little mustache you busting out, looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, oh, no. Damn, baby. You so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the jock scene. I like sensitive. 
talented guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that has to tell everyone how important he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, Sweet Thing. I was thinking we was here to discuss my new exercise video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a married man. I'm on my seventh. So you got a big family. All those wives. That's fantastic. Not really. You see, I really like family, especially if some show up you didn't know existed. I tell you, Father's Day, I'm scared to go to my mailbox. My big heart has caused me a lot of heartache, but when you're in the crew again, you know, deliver these quick now. DJ has met some real manipulative people. Seven wives! That's fantastic! No, I have one wife. I had six before that. So you downsize, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So, oh my god, isn't this getting intimate, DJ? I feel like we are really connecting. Yeah, I like to connect with you. Other men may fumble, but I go into the trenches like a dog. That's extra part of my video. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, running the ball is like making romance. And one day when I was going for a touchdown, you know what I'm saying, I had a great idea. You see all these fitness videos on television? It's always that idiot fool in leotards prancing about giving it the skinny thing. And I say, what is this? I mean, what in the world is this? These people ain't fit, they ain't got a clue. When you're fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know I spit for football, able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for an hour straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you gonna a bust? Man, can you take these? But when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he tears ligaments in his back and never play again, I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. And I should know. I ain't been here. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take Dave or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? But put a man in a helmet in a cup and he can watch the car in daily. That's fighting fit for football. It really very simple program. The best way to get your body fit is to have total disregard for your body. Every now and then you wake up and come out of a concussion and say, damn, I look good. BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on K-Chat right after these messages. Are you tired of your couches getting ruined? Oh, Grandpa. I made twinkles again. If you've got old people cluttering up your home, why not send them to Musty Pines? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping, and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switching night. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facilities. You can still visit your old people, but now you have no wasting time this time, pal. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. drive through service also available. He was just the boy next door. Medical practitioners, dietitians, a baying crowd, and a pony who wants you dead. Dead in the dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood sucking leech of a man who will destroy you if you don't destroy him first. A man you. You again? Well, deliver these quick now. So till it's time just right, and then you pounce, baby, like a kitty cat on catnip. I'll sack a man, power drive him hard, again and again, because the idiot comes my way, I'll nail him every time. This video sounds like a lot of fun. Fun? Fun? You think it's fun when grown men cry in mortal agony? When you're so scared of what you're going to do to a man to step outside yourself like an astral projection no. and police go Kent State on you and, and people are crying and bleeding and, and, and pouncing each other in the face and that gets in the locker room with fun again. That's your idea of fun? 
Yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, mine too. That's why I'm making a comeback. I've been retired two years, and I'm telling you, selling cars or appearing in soft drink commercials is not fun compared to having 50,000 low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the mamas. That's actualizing the self. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. I am doing it. These need delivery. Wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to sleep. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just moat and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it on. Of course. I, I mean, when? Soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But, and don't call it a comeback. Like the song said, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools that gave me nothing to work with. The owners, I mean. What owners are you talking about? The owners of the team. They gave me nothing. Then the reason my marriage failed. I worked my ass off all those years sweating blood and, and puking my soul out, and they treat me like a tractor. Roll me around, treat me no better than adults. The guys that got hurt, they never saw a penny out of those monsters. That's just like Jane. Who's Jane? Yeah. My friend. She's a cop. She got sacked for wearing makeup and an I Hate Life t-shirt to work and never saw a penny. <laughs> She like, um, football stuff. She teaches kindergarten, professionally. You know, I know a lot of players who need to go back to school after they finish playing. It's a tough life and you lose something. What did you lose? Hope, addiction, something. It's brutal out there. That's just like Jade. Those kids are evil little brats. Listen, are you going to talk about your freaking friends who dress like a funeral? I thought we were here to talk about BJ. BJ Smith. And...